Greetings from Darlington Farm here, uh, just out here in the shop, kind of doing a couple of fun projects. If you watched my earlier videos, I'd cut out some tombstones with the shark here, and uh, I just uh, finally got around to painting them today, and kind of thought I'd show you uh, what I was doing. Here's one of them. This is actually my prototype, and I don't know that I really like it. It, it uh, actually looks a lot cooler in person. It's kind of hard to... I don't know that it really comes across on the camera here. You can kind of see the splattering. I used a really thick... Uh, thick paint and an airbrush and just crank the air pressure up to where it kind of splattered so it actually kind of does look like a uh, blood splatter but I don't know that it actually comes across that way on the camera but um, after I did this first one here I kind of decided I didn't really like the skull um, I thought it was just kind of too busy so and also this pocket here on this one I cut this pocket to um, 0.4 inches and that's just way deeper than it needs to be I think it only I ended up uh, making it only uh, uh, 200,000 steep. So that's, uh, and then this also I reduced, this is 0.4 or 400 thousandths in, uh, deep on this one. And these, uh, oh, these cracks here are uh, the same uh, depth. And I ended up shrinking those down on my subsequent prototypes here. Or not prototypes, I guess that was more the prototype on my subsequent uh, versions. On these, I, I only had, uh, made that one uh, 200 thousandths deep. And uh, the same goes for this. And uh, this one, actually, I textured with the uh, with the Raz or uh, the uh, Festool RAS 115. Uh, I didn't get any video of that because I was kind of in a hurry at the time. But uh, you can kind of see there's some uh, oh some bumpiness to it. And I just put a uh, uh, which we call it a hundred grit pad in there and just kind of went crazy on it, making some dust. Um, oh, and also, if uh, somebody can guess this uh, date range here. Uh, I don't know if I have anything uh, fancy to send you, but if you can actually guess it, and you're the first one to guess it, I'll, uh, I'll I guess I'll uh, try and send you some, uh, send you some, uh, I don't know, some kind of swag from our farm. But uh, anyway, yeah, here's the other one. Just kind of was playing around with the airbrush and uh, a bunch of different cans of spray paint, and I'm gonna try and get a video up of uh, how I ended up actually doing that. Um, it's actually a lot of fun to do the painting. I kind of like the art side of that. Uh, and uh, kind of halfway noodling around with the notion of doing a haunted uh, corn maze at our farm next year. So that actually might work out well, kind of building some of this stuff uh, now just for fun. And then, uh, you know, have do some over the summer for a, a corn maze next fall, because there's not really anybody around us that's doing anything like that. And I thought it might be kind of fun and, and you know, make some money off of it too. That's always a, always a nice thing. But uh, anyway, yeah, oh, here's the uh, other pumpkins I was doing here. As you can see, I got a big ass stack of hardboard here. Uh, I just laid it up, or just cut it into 20 by 20 squares and cut it out. Um, or rather, cut out the out, outside of a pumpkin here. This is, will be a pumpkin. Here is, uh, this is going to be the template for it over here. This was my first, oh crap, uh, whenever I was. Uh, cutting the first one out here, I was just going to leave the holes open, and uh, I uh, left one of the clamps too high up uh, on the table and had one of my bits too short and bumped into it. And uh, so, yeah, I have a, <laughs> I have a pattern here that, uh, or not pattern, but a stencil here I can just place over the top of those and paint the, uh, the, the eyes and mouth there. So that'll actually kind of speed that up, and I'm probably going to do a ghost and stuff tomorrow. I just didn't have a chance to get that done today, and um, I guess uh, I may... I don't know if anybody's interested in actually any of the cut file, the files for anything like this, or the tool pass. I can, uh, if you're interested, I can post those uh, down there. Uh, if anybody's actually interested in those, if, if you want, you can just message me on here, and I'm happy to post them uh, if uh, you're uh, if you're interested. And um, yeah, anyway, that's just pretty much what I'm up to today. Just kind of painting and kind of playing around out here in the shop and getting some fun projects in.